Hello, welcome back to the channel. So we are in Manga Bay. Now, I don't know if you've watched any of my previous videos, but I've been working on this Airbnb project here. This is my old rental house. Just set back there. Big four bedroom, two story property. Set back up the top of this staircase here. Now, obviously this staircase is ridiculous. So what we've done is we've put a Z shape staircase with a couple of flat levels so you're not out of breath. You can take 15 steps, have a little walk along the platform and then another 15 steps all the way down to the road. So what we are here to talk about is controlling property. How do you control a property that you don't own if you've got no money to start with? And that's where I'm at today. I don't have the money to buy this property. Now it's for sale for, it was around about 55,000 euro, but with the euro going, strengthening in value against the, the, the pound and the dollar and that, and also the Ari Ari, it's, um, it works out around about 60,000 euro to buy this. Now that includes the whole four bedroom, apartment villa up the top it's two story you can only see one story there but there's actually another story of bedrooms above it so to control that this um house at the front this reed house on stilts here and also this driveway there with the parking area 60 60 to 65 thousand euro it's the first price so you could get it for 60 thousand euro now, I don't have the 60,000 euro, so what I've decided to do is say to them, listen, let's Airbnb this. I'll, I'll manage it, we'll do it on a three year contract. I'll manage it for you. I get half the rent, you get half the rent, and I'll fix all the problems, like the hot water needed fixing, the roof needed fixing, the staircase needs fixing. And obviously for an Airbnb, you need good quality beds, you need sets of drawers, there's things like that missing. So I'll be doing all that. The whole project for Airbnb is going to cost around about $3,000, $4,000 maximum. And we'll have it a lovely apartment that we can rent out for big dollar here in Nosy B. Now, I've locked it off for three years, so they can't sell this land here or this property for three years because it's going to be our Airbnb project. Um, there was a buyer who come along the other week. I was actually here when he come to view the place just went upstairs with the agent, viewed it, seen that I was doing lots of work on it. And he's been before and hummed and hard about buying it off him. Um, this time when he seen me working on the project, he was he was direct, he was like, I'll, I'll buy it off you. I'll give you 65,000 euro, we'll do a deal. And luckily the owner said, no, I've already done a deal with somebody else. Um, so I can't sell this. Now I said to them, listen, I'm interested in buying it at around 60,000 euro off you, but um, I ain't got the money to buy it at the moment. I've got 60,000 spare. It's all tied up in other projects and investments and stuff like that. So what I've um, said to them is, how about selling me from here? So I get included in, in this Jurama post, basically this electric post and here. Now, obviously you're not meant to build within the about four meters of the road. So I won't be able to build anything here, but it'll actually come to the edge of this bungalow here. This will be their staircase going up all the way to the top. And the bungalow will be mine, basically. That'll be mine if I buy this off them. I'll get all this land here, including the parking. And then all this bit here as well, next to the staircase to this barrier here, all the way up to the top of the grass there. Now it's only a small plot, it's about 140 square meter. Um, hard to price because I bought land here for 25,000, $5 a square meter. So $5 times 140, about $750. I bought land for the same sort of size as this in Nosy B on the road. But it didn't have a sea view, the land I bought. You can't build on it at the moment because there's a problem with the old sugarcane company that used to basically control the whole island's land. 
um, they went bankrupt a few years ago and now most people are left in limbo but if there's buildings already built like this this house here is built here there's a house there built there's another one at the back there there's other ones over there there's ones across the road there's plenty of houses in this area here so there's no problem in building houses or apartments um now obviously my plan here is i'm gonna i've made them an offer i made them an offer of of about six and a half thousand dollars to buy it off him i said you know it's hard to price but it's got electric it's got water on site it's it's got buildings here and it's got the main it's right on the main road it's also got the beach is a five minute walk away you can you got sea views from further up the top of this plot here so let's go and have a look well, my plan will be to dig it all out dig even these steps here will be included in the sale it'll come directly up to this escalator here up to this staircase so my plan is to dig all of this out and it should go down about 10 meters including this bit here including here up this wall here they've got a terrace there now obviously i don't want to block their view but it doesn't stop me from building up to that terrace just above the little sign i don't know if you can see it there that little sign i can build basically the roof at that level there right across there coming out and we'll have a perfect sea view just there the camera probably doesn't do it justice but my eyeballs are looking good at that sea view and it looks spot, spot on spectacular to me and we'll have a sea view from here as well see the beach from here it's spot on this is a, you know one of the best african islands paradise islands and on top of that this is one of the best areas of that island if, how can you go wrong like we're spending eight thousand dollars on a plot of land where you can build one apartment there i can have one apartment here and one on the ground level it's possible i can squeeze three apartments in i can definitely get two um i don't know how big they'll be will they be two bedroom will they be three bedroom i don't know um until i clear the whole land and work out the measurements and start designing and working out the plan of it but what a spot on place here i could have a terrace here a nice terrace for the for the upstairs bungalow i could have a terrace right across this little bit here looking out into the sea watching the boats go by watching the people enjoying the beach and watching the sea it's perfect absolutely perfect and from upstairs you'll be able to see the sort of views that they've got upstairs nancy hello <laughs> I just come up here and take my shoes off so it's nice and clean but I can build my roof up to here basically around about just you know a few inches down start the roof from obviously from the plot which is where that flower is there that small plant in the middle of the screen there so I can build a wall right up here and raise the floor level so it's not on the same level as this one here and have a sea view now, it won't be as spectacular as this sea view because it's it's going to be about two and a half meters further down but still it's going to be a nice sea view especially once you clear all these bananas and get it all cleared out um, so i'm quite happy i've managed to stop them from selling this to somebody else i'm buying that land off them down there i'm going to do a deal today they've come back at like eight thousand dollars i offered them something like six and a half they come back at eight somewhere between there we're going to have a deal and i'm going to buy that land off them so very very happy um and obviously in the future we're working together to airbnb this location here which is a spectacular location it's perfect house for airbnb and for holidays or bookings.com so once i've got that done and we're, we're making profit in that i can just turn around and say to them listen how about I buy the rest of it off you? And they're happy to sell it. They'll sell it like in a year, in two years. I can come along and say, right, I'll give you what you what you wanted originally. I'll give you 65,000 euro minus what I've already bought off you. 
so I'll give them like 57,000 euro, 55,000 euro. They're happy, I'm happy, everything's good. That's the plan. It's a bit of a long-term plan. Um, whether it works out like that, who knows? I might never end up with this property. But if I do, I do, and if I don't, well, that's the end of that. I'll move on to the next business deal. So there you go, I'm quite happy today. Things are working out in Nosy B. Lads are working on the staircase, getting it all finished off there. I've had them working inside as well, doing a few jobs, making it better inside. And it's not season, it's not the season now for tourists. Season starts in March for tourists. So we've got um, at least a month and a half to get everything finished. And then we can book it up and hopefully I can up my income by a little bit. I'm not really asked to be honest with you about upping the income it's not that wasn't the plan the whole idea of doing this airbnb was to lock it off from the market so nobody else can buy this um a bit selfish maybe but that's business and if you want to control the property just go and knock on somebody's door and say i see your house is for rent give me the keys i'll i'll deal with it i'll get you how much rent you want a month you want 500 dollars a month no problem it's, it's four bedroom plus a dining room. Boom, turn it into five bedrooms. Turn the dining room into a bedroom. And um, and rent it out by room by room. And you're gonna make yourself a good few hundred dollars off each property. You can do that. I know plenty of people who do Airbnb arbitrage, it's called. Check it out on YouTube videos. Um, you don't need a great deal of money to control a property. You just need to get the keys. You don't have to own it. Doesn't have, you don't have to have the paperwork for it. You don't have to pay massive deposit or get a mortgage. There's so many ways to control property. And there's always people looking to get in and out of properties to move on in life. And if you're there, why not take advantage of that situation and control the property? And now I control this property because I'm gonna be in charge of this Airbnb here. I'm buying that land there. So I'm getting, I'm getting more and more control from this property. Another good thing, if I buy this off him, this whole plot here, behind this hut here, there's plenty of room to build another nice one bedroom apartment there. And that'll have fantastic sea views from up there. So we can buy, buy that and build a nice apartment there. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Manga Bay, Nosy Bee, Madagascar. Give us a like, give us a sub, check the other videos, and I'll see you in the next one.